Hello and welcome to our first fix at Studio 106. I'm Jaden Barnett. And I'm Caleb Grisby. You are in for a treat with our brand new production. We are going to dive into all types of things with our brand new broadcasting class. The purpose of the show is to express our creativity and produce quality content for what you want to see. We will be sharing stories from our home in Central Kentucky and as well in the international news that sparks controversy. Let's get started with a story in Lexington where records are being broken and not in a good way. Naomi Yusita Serrano is here to tell us more. 16 of the 38 are still unsolved. The previous record was last year with 37. And as you can imagine, people who, who live here are alarmed at the violent trends. It's happened again. Another school shooting in another American city, this time in St. Louis. It happened earlier this week just after 9 in the morning. A shooter managed to get into the locked school building and kill a woman and teenager before police killed the gunman. There have been nearly 40 school shootings so far this year. The state of Texas is taking a controversial approach to school shootings. A new law is requiring districts to hand out DNA kits to parents to help authorities identify their children if they are ever killed in a school shooting. School districts are required to pass out the kits, but participation is voluntary. Move to the wake of the Uvalde shooting has many parents alarmed that efforts should be focused on preventing mass shootings instead of preparing families what to do and after what happened. A 15-year-old student at Henry Clay High School has been arrested and charged bringing a loaded gun to school. A student alerted a staff member last Thursday they believed a classmate would bring a gun to school. The school went into lockdown and students remained barricaded in place for three hours. No one was allowed in or out of the building. Officers found a loaded handgun in a 15-year-old's backpack they had with him in a classroom. The student w was charged with the possession of a weapon on school property. It's testing season and students everywhere are feeling stressed, depressed, and on edge. Juniors and seniors are taking the ACT. The test measures quick thinking skills in math, English, reading, and science. The test scores are used for college admissions. Test results are expected to be released within two to three weeks. It's time for our Rising Phoenix segment where we honor our crew. Our first nom nominee is Ms. Rouch, our Supreme Leader. Ms. Rouch shares her two decades of award-winning broadcast experience with us. Each and every day, she puts in her absolute best to allow us to fulfill our creative passion. We also want to salute you, our viewers. We're looking forward to bringing you informative and entertainment programming this year. If you have any ideas for stories you want to see on an upcoming show, let us know. Leave your idea in comments below our YouTube page. See ya. Au revoir. 